Hi guys and today we have a very special guest Tiasha Podar a second year MBBS student from Arjikar Medical College Kolkata thanks for joining Thanks for having me here And today we will have a discussion with Tiasha about her college Arjikar Medical College Kolkata So let's begin Firstly what was going on in your mind a night before entering the college for the first time as a medico Yeah I was excited first of all when I took my admission then after that uh the day before the uh, i was uh, i had my first day in college i was sick with fever and uh, very severe cough and cold so my parents say that since you're not well please don't go to college tomorrow and i was like kya itne din se main matlab wait karke baithi hu first day as a medico enter karungi college mein aap log keh rahe ho ki college mat jao i was like uh, means I didn't I didn't uh, listen to them I said that I will go and uh, since the first day uh, we are the first batch from uh, having the CBME curriculum in our course we had the, in our first day uh, the introduction about the college and then it was followed by the white coat ceremony and I did not wish to miss the white coat ceremony okay so what did you realize after your first day at college Uh the first day was fun actually it, uh, every, in every medical college in West Bengal they start college in 1st August if it's not a sunday uh they start at 1st August and uh, the first part of the session uh, in uh, in the first day was introduction about the college and the teachers spoke professors spoke hod spoke, uh, spoke and we were sitting in the auditorium with our parents and the second part was white coat ceremony that was that was really a thrilling experience like uh so that was followed by white coat ceremony i guess if you are entering a medical college you will feel the thrill okay so the next question would be quite specific about your college so firstly tell me about the faculty there yeah the faculties all of them are not good and all of them are not bad so since uh, uh, so i must say one thing very clearly that in west bengal all faculties are uh, being uh, transferred to every college so they keep on shuffling it's not that that arjiko will have good faculties means they will keep on having good faculties five years down the lane so they their job is transferable and uh, so some teachers are really good i must say uh, if i had to name someone It's Ramanuj sir of surgery department. He is like God to us. Uh, so yeah, some professors are really good, and yes, uh, they focus on how we learn and they focus on one-to-one interactions too. But yes, not all professors teach good. I must say. Okay, so tell me about the campus. Uh, the campus is uh, huge, but not that much huge as it is of MCK or NRS. so uh, you must not expect to have a playground in our in uh, arjikar which you may expect in nrs it's not in arjikar uh, but the campus is huge and the cl- classrooms are like well furnished and you'll have a grand life in medical college so moving on to the next question now that you will be an immediate senior but how were the seniors when you first entered the college uh so the interactions first for the first time was uh, scary but uh, everything that they did was for our good we can we can understand now that the bond that they created between us i can assure you that no medical college in west bengal have this kind of bond with seniors like we can call them at the middle of the night at 3 am maybe if you if you are having if you are sick or maybe uh, you are uh, having difficulty for your next day exam so everything for everything they are there and uh, they have really helped us evolve as medicos and i, I am a day scholar and uh, still i get so much benefits from my seniors but if you are a hostelite i can assure you that uh, they are like parents to you if you are sick they will be caring for you they will be pre- prescribing medicines to you they are like like parents to you if you don't have your parents in hospital okay so you are in the hostel life so could you give a brief idea about the hostel life and the mess food on the account of your friends opinion yeah um, i didn't uh, take up for a hostel but uh, i shouldn't i should have 
because uh, I every day I, I travel for 24 into 2 kilometers means 24 kilometers up 24 kilometers down to reach my college and come back I should have applied for a hostel but my since my parents didn't wish me to take up a hostel so I had to travel so I have to travel actually and in hostel if you ask me the in first year for ladies hostel you will be providing uh, provided with a dormitory and uh, in second year onwards you'll be provided with rooms with your uh, sharing with your seniors like three or four people in a room this is about the ladies hostel which is within the campus and the boys hostels there are two uh, one is the Lalit Mohan boys hostel and the Manikthala boys hostel the Lalit Mohan boys hostel is uh, around 500 meters away from the college and Manikthala boys hostel is around one kilometer away from the college uh, all of them provide rooms for the boys Mm, uh, with sharing with the seniors three to four person in a room and uh, the hostels are quite good especially i like the manikola boys hostel it's it's really beautiful and the ambience there is also beautiful and uh, about the mess food yeah it's it's not like uh, the food you can have at home but uh, it's not bad we in arjikur have a lot of good canteens that you can always go to uh, to have your food they serve you home food they serve you uh, if you wish to have some spicy food they, they can even serve you that so the canteens are really good okay that's great to hear so could you tell about the fee structure of your college yeah the fee structure in all government medical colleges in west bengal are the same it's 4500 per semester that is per six months and since uh, the course is for four and a half years so you have to pay uh, 4500 into uh, nine installments so that is uh, the fee structure and uh, after that you have one year of internship and you will be paid for your work definitely so lastly what would be your advice for the juniors who would be hearing this video and would join your college in the upcoming years yeah so for the juniors please study hard for need because uh, trust me i can assure you that no other profession provides you that much satiety that you have in our profession means when the patient uh, when you see the patient is leaving the hospital with smiles in your face that is the best best gift ever you can have actually and uh, so after you crack neat you can join any any medical college in west bengal uh, especially in Ajika that you will be getting an additional benefit is uh, the senior-junior relationship that is really good and so best of luck for your need and for joining as a medical fraternity. Okay, so those were some really good wishes for the juniors and that's it for now guys. Hope you got an idea about the college of Ajika Medical College, Kolkata. Thank you. Thank you so much Shivam.